All right, hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of River Pike. And uh, guess what? Today I'm bringing Eric on my boat to fish one of my spots and see if we can hook a good fish here. Good to see you. Nice to see you too. We've been perch fishing Ooh. and pike fishing. Any good? Uh, yeah, I told about a personal best, 1.3 kilo. You want to release her? Yeah, I will. Yeah, give her a kiss. Mwah. Toss her back there. Whoa. That's Mangy Boy, lure builder from Sweden. Great work. Oh, look at the belly on that. Yeah, got a lot of weight on her. So now it's like 9.30 and we're meeting Eric for lunch and then we're gonna go out again. We're not fishing in the middle of the day now because it is summertime and it's hot in the water. It's 20 degrees, 20 degrees Celsius. So that's quite warm uh, and the fish is very slow in the middle of the day. So we try to fish evening, night and early, early mornings. We got the current coming over here. And we got so much bait packed in here, you can see them jumping, they're like everywhere in the water. Here we go. Here, perchy, perchy, perchy. Ooh, here we go. Oh, missed it. Come on, here we go. Again. Come on, gonna give me a third chance. Come on, third chance. Come on. Oh, there is, right there. See him? Small fish. Here we go. Short cast. There we go. There we go. Easy one. This one is good for eating. They come in really great numbers here. I'm going to show you a fish that Tobe caught just a minute ago. Look at the colors. Did well, Tobe, on the jig. But it looks a little bit strange. Maybe because it got pike hammered. All right, so. If these guys are around, they're definitely, it's gonna be some big pikes here. All right, that's enough. Let's get out of here. Go get Eric. Catch a river pike. All right, guys, uh, we, so we, uh, we just made a quick stop on our way back to pick up Eric. And uh, Tobias got lucky, he's got a new personal best on perch. Yeah, 1.3 kilos. Yeah, 1.3 kilos. You want to release her? Yeah, I want to. Yeah, release. give her a kiss. Mwah. Toss her back there. Big perch. Bye bye. Let's go eat. Good to see you. Nice to see you too. We've been perch fishing. Cool. And pike fishing. Any good? Uh, yeah, I told about the personal best, 1.3 kilo. Whoa, nice. So he's a happy guy right now. <laughs> I, I'm, I've got a um, blood sugar issue here. He forgot the food in the car. <laughs> okay. So uh, we're gonna pull the boat up, go have lunch, and then we'll go back out again and, Sounds good. and take them. All right, good to see you.
we go. Roll this up. The net is here. You think we should uh, maybe unfold it and put yep. it? Let's put it all together so that we are ready. Right, so you can see all this water pushing out here. Creates a great eddy here. So this place is nice for big fish. But the problem here is now that it's hot, hot, hot. We got 22 degrees in the water. So yeah, and it's shallow here, it's at 2.5 meters. Uh, we're most likely not, are not gonna catch anything here. But you know, it, it's in the top, so we wanna start at the top, work our way down, see what happens. And you never know, river fishing is tricky stuff, and I don't know a lot about it. So what do you think, Eric? Yeah, I think it's, it's a good spot. There's a strong current out there, and yeah. even if it's, it's hot in the water, they can easily feed in here. Oh, Oof. look at that. That's a nice perch. Nice, cool. Let's get them. I need to borrow. <laughs> need them. I need, I need to borrow stuff again. I'm, bor I'm borrowing Eric's rigs. Yeah, here you go. That's my girl, shallow rigged. I love to fish, you know, with a shallow screw and just, you know, keep 20 grams of lead in my pocket. Just tuck that in there, nice and good. Always wanted, you know, one of these bass boat uh, for this type of fishing. This is the ultimate fishing machine, I think, for spin fishing. It's hot. It's hot. It's a very hot day. Are you having fun in there, Eric? Yeah, but I think I'm gonna put on some lead and fish the bait faster. Because 22 degrees in the water, I think they want speed. Oof! Did you see that? What was that? Wow. I just saw a big splash. Yeah, something died in there, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just spotted a fish over there by the, by the stone. Pike? Chasing something out All of right. the river. And it looks, looked actually big. Okay, we it's should go for it. Big V shape. Oh yeah, so plow in, the, plow in the surface? Exactly. All right. Just like you see when they are hunting your bait in the surface. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, I had there it. There it was. I got it. Yeah. Great. Nice. All right. You see? You see I gave that to him. Not even in the water. I'm going to help you. He just took it right away. It's going to be a quick release. It's hot in the water. We want to get rid of them as soon as possible. And, and we want to have the hook out. Just get the hook out. Oh, <laughs> oh, a quick release. Yeah, that was my bad. No worries. Yeah. Leader touch, no problem there. We're gonna we're gonna go a little bit further inside. We're going back up that hole, and we're going closer, closer, all the way in there. So this is the spot where we had that fish, where Eric had that fish. Now we can see why, because there's a lot of bait in the water, small fish, teeny tiny fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna anchor up here. We're gonna keep on fishing all the way back in there. There's still fish to be found in there. Too deep to use the talons, so we're using the spot lock for the um, for the Minn Kota trolling motor. It's got GPS signal and it's holding the boat for us, you know, at a decent position. It's, um, it's a lot of current here, so it's, it's gonna move a little bit for us, but you know, just walk around here and have fun. The good thing about the stream of water, even if it's hot water, you can still catch them. Mm -hmm. But I would never go out fishing for, for big pikes in a in a shallow lake or something right now. Oh, I had a bite. You had a bite? Yeah, Great. immediately. Great. But I think it was a perch, because I saw it coming from the side in the surface. And Maybe those nibbles we had was perched on before also. I don't know. Maybe. No, I think. I'm gonna see how big these perch are here. I'm interested. I mean, we're doing pike show today, but still. You try? Still, yeah. I, <laughs> what? Wow. Oh. There's smaller bait fish here, and the, there's some bigger predators here. Do you have another rod as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have sure. two small yeah, okay. rods. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's I mean, try. not fishing this spot when the sonar looks like this. This is distraction. This is not good. Who cares? I mean, I got one. It's a baby. Yeah, but her. Nice. Congratulations. Oh, there we go. No. Oh, fish on. Oh, that's a I better one. I got one, one. as oh, well. That's a good one. 
Oh, you got a big one? The, uh, no, I don't know. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a decent fish. Look at that fish. Well, it's <laughs> just had a double strike, a double perchy. All right, that's how we do it. <laughs> nice. Strong current here. Oh, nice. Is it a big one? Yeah, this is maybe. Maybe a little bit better. That's a good fish right there. Cool. Johan, it's finished with the perch. I got a feeling that we're gonna get a big one now. Ah, the fish. Did you follow all the way to the boat or did yeah, it strike deep down? No, it just took it straight under the boat. The bait yeah. is really heavy, but it was just three meters of line out. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna check the markings. We're gonna see. Go on, I think I had a bite. Wow, cool. Up here. He just took it like that. But he, unfortunately, he missed the hooks. Markings in the belly as well. Cool. Fish on! Ooh, that's a nice fish. Oh, he's, he's pulling line. Great work. Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice scoop. So there we go. Show it. The magical bait, folks. That's Mangi Boy, lure builder from Sweden, making a small bream. Yeah, that's actually one of them we talked about in uh, River Pike episode two. Wanna have a look at your girl? Yeah, there you go. She's extremely angry. Don't drop her in. Don't drop her in. I got her. Oh, look at the belly of that fish yeah, you want. Yeah, got a lot of weight on her. Yeah, she's heavy. How long do you think she is? One meter, yeah. one meter five maybe. Around a meter, so that's that's seven, maybe 7.5 kilo. Yeah. Look at that back. Yeah, look at that back. Such heavy fish. It's going away, straight away. So, we need to fix this, this lure now. And we're using... Uh, a glue called Fixalur from Spike It, and it has a small brush inside. Then you can easily just brush this glue onto all the, the bike marks in the of the bait. And then it's easily restored and ready to fish again. You can also open one of the wounds and just put the brush in. But now there were just some, some shallow torns. Then you let it rest for a short while. Then it's ready to go for another big pike. So sometimes you get torn up on the hands by the pike. And uh, this is a good thing you can buy at the pharmacy. It's uh, a plastic spray that you spray on so you will not get an infection. You just... It stains a little bit, but after a short while it will, uh, it will cool off and then it will be a, a plastic thin braid on the hand. Great. It's very nice because then you will not get your infections. Easy to buy on the on the pharmacy. Ooh, kolla den rätt under. Yes. Kolla. Yeah. You just said it. Look at the one underneath the boat. Oh, it's, it's a nice fish. He's gonna jump again. And um, we saw them on the sonar, on the side imaging scanner, and, and uh, Eric saw him underneath the boat on the sonar before the actual strike. Nice, let's put it back. Yeah, great take. Very nice. I'm glad it's the side imaging thingy worked. Bye bye. But it was so cool that I saw it on the sonar when coming in. Yeah. Chasing the bait. Fisk! Great, Eric. Nice, that spot worked too. Absolutely. She's gonna be pissed off when you get a leader. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's a heavy fish, Eric. Wow, look at the back. It's so fat. On the McRubber. There you go. Look, hold your fish. Nice. 15 more centimeters. Yeah, the it, it, it's got good weight on her. 
Absolutely. We'll just release her. Yeah. Look at the green color on the... Yeah, in the mouth. In the mouth, on the... On the gill covers and everything. She's got so much food for her here. Okay, go back. Let's be bigger. We're gonna do some trolling now. And because uh, this is a big river, this is a huge system. So we got a lot of open water, even though it's a river. So I'm driving the boat and um, we're doing about 2.2 knots. We, uh, we don't have an anchor in. Uh, we have the right speed anyway. And um, what I do is I have my trolling motor in. I have the Minkota in there in the front. And uh, I use that to steer the boat. So the setup is we're fishing five, four lures from three to five meters. Exactly. I have a shallower one with a very high rational movement. And then you have one that is going slower, yeah. but a little bit deeper. Here we have uh, some bait or maybe actually a big fish standing close to the bottom. I saw him on the side imaging over here. I can just put my finger here and I can mark that position at a waypoint. So now I have a waypoint over there. And when I switch back to map, now you can see that, you know, we thought when we looked at this traditional sonar that the fish was right underneath us. But it really wasn't. It was over here to the left. So a couple of meters to the left. So now we have a waypoint there. We can steer around and we can fish on that spot. I think it's we're gonna have a bite pretty soon. We you are see a lot of bait fish on the on the plateaus here. Yeah. Nice strike, Eric. So you just tell me how you want to play this fish. Just put it in neutral, I think. Oh fuck, he got off. <sighs> that was a heavy fish. Eric is upset, he lost his fish. Oh. But what can you do? Keep on trolling. Yeah, keep on trolling. Cool, fish on. Minkota is in spot lock. Nice. I think, think we're good. Hooked very bad. Well, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> which one to show off the... <laughs> the, bait. <laughs> the bait of the fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hook up on the trolling again. On a, on a very familiar peak. So, in rivers, sometimes you when know, it's hard to find the fish, we want to find new spots, we can do some trolling. Works nice. And the smaller fish are the ones that can really, really hurt you. You have to be really careful and try to work with the fish in the water, if it's possible. There you go. All right, it's a nice finish. Nice finish with this one. I think we're done for the day. I think so. You have fun? A lot of fun, as <laughs> yeah, always. Yeah, you caught a lot of fish today, man. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, but you, um, I know you're experienced pike fisher and uh, fishing in rivers. So it's good to have you here where I usually fish. And um, you know, uh, I learned a lot today. Yeah, that's good to hear. Let's head home. Let's head home. Let's go. Let's go.